Jeff Kelso, and welcome back to my garage. Today, I'm gonna give you the three tips you need to know when it comes to shrink tubing. But first, I'm gonna fix my buddy's iPhone charger. And at the end of the video, I'll give you guys a sizing chart. The shrink tube was originally made at one size, expanded to become another size, and when you heat it, it goes back to its original size. If that sounds confusing, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Tip number one, they come in different shrink ratios. But what does that even mean? Shrink ratios give you your expanded and your recovered diameter. So this is what we started off with. This is what we ended up with. That's called three to one. These are your most common shrink ratios. One to one, two to one, three to one, and four to one. Tip number two, choose the right wall thickness. They come in both thick and thin. What you need to know here is that your thin wall is more flexible and can be easily heated with a lighter, especially if you're a professional like me. And there we go talking about being a professional. Tip number three, they come in an adhesive and non-adhesive line, which is exactly what it sounds like. One has glue and one does not. The ones with adhesive will make it watertight and environmentally sealed. Pro tip, if you bought it in a roll, it's probably not an adhesive line. Your adhesive usually comes in your one foot or four foot sticks. Hopefully, these three tips will help you choose the right shrink tube for your next project. Bonus tip, they make really cool binoculars. And like I promised, here's that shrink tube cheat sheet. Thank you, love you. See you guys next week.